Hey guys, this is Mike with the uh, Tor Hangout over on Google+. The other day we had a conversation on Google+, Plus about security and passwords with uh, Star Wars The Old Republic wanting us to change our passwords. And we got a couple ideas and uh, kicked around in that conversation. I wanted to do a real quick tutorial to show you how easy it is to use a password locker to use a very secure password and help alleviate that or take that out of the equation. All right, the first thing we want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and go over to lastpass.com and you're going to install LastPass. What you see is up here in the top right hand corner of your browser, you're going to get a little LastPass drop down box. If you click on this, there's several options in here. So we're set. That's, that's pretty much all we have to do. You can play with some of the settings and things, but I'm going to show you what you need to know most about this once we get into the next part. And that is registering on uh, Star Wars Yield Republic. So we're going to go here to swotor.com. We're going to sign up for an account. Okay, so when we're ready to input the uh, email address, this is where we can do this um, really cool thing with adding in an alias just automatically. So we start out with Tor Hangout, which is the email address we're using, but then we're adding the plus, and then we're going to call this my SWTOR login at gmail.com. Do it again. Tor Hangout. This would be your email address, of course, plus my SWTOR login at gmail.com. So that's the email address we're going to use to register on SOTOR.com. The cool thing is when we um, when we use this email address, all email is going to go to our Tor Hangout at gmail.com address, but we use this to log into the site. So it's going to automatically create this alias on the fly and nobody will be able to guess unless you tell them that that's the email address you're using for the account. And the next thing is with the password. We're going to see here that um, EA has uh, let us use 8 to 16 characters, must be at least one uppercase, one lowercase letter, and one number. Well, we could roll our face across the keyboard and try to come up with that, but instead, LastPass is saying here, would you like LastPass to go ahead and generate a password for this? When you first come in here, I've already had it open, it's going to be on basic. We're going to go ahead and show advanced. We're going to go ahead and set this to 16 because we want the maximum number of characters we can. All uppercase, lowercase, and numbers. So when it generates a password, it's going to use that combination. It's just going to continue to come up with all these different passwords. Let's go ahead and take that one. We're going to say accept. And what it does is you saw it place dots down here. All right, as soon as we say sign me up, SWOTOR says thank you for signing up. And we're going to go ahead and say OK. And... Uh, Go ahead and say save. Now what's happening here is creating a, a record for the Tor Hangout at mystworlogin.com at gmail.com. There's the password. You can hide that. You can put notes in. You can save it all you want. We're going to go ahead and say save. Once you confirm your email address that you uh, get from the email sent out after registering, then when you come to log into the site, head to login. It's going to autofill in. If it doesn't, you can come up to the last pass. You can see that there is an option here, and you can go ahead and click on this autofill button to fill it in, or you can grab just the uh, username or the password. Okay, so some things you can do once you already have your account set up. So let's say you're already set up, but you just got the email to change your account. I'm going to go ahead and go into my accounts, show you how simple this is. We're going to change password, reset password here. And under the uh, reset password, it's trying to fill in the old. Don't worry about that. We're going to just delete that, delete that. Now, here's where things uh, come into handy for how we, we use the LastPass system. Since you don't really know the password, uh, it's auto-generated. You never type it. We're going to come up here to the LastPass section. We're going to see that the SOTOR is down here at the very bottom. This is the account and the login we're dealing with. I'm going to click on the key which copies password to clipboard. Now it does this for a very few seconds, so what you can do then is paste it into the old password um, box. I'm then going to put my uh, cursor in the new password box, and I'm going to ignore this here for autofill. It's just some of the things that get in the way. I'm going to come back to LastPass. I'm going to go to Tools, and then Generate Secure Password. It's already set up for the 16. I'm going to hit that a couple times and say accept. It's going to automatically fill the two fields with that new password. As soon as I say yes and OK, it saved that. And LastPass is saying here, and it's showing a yellow icon. It says, hey, something's up. We've detected a password change for user and our name. Do you want to save this? We say confirm. 
and boom, it's automatically updated that password in the, uh, in the logout here. In order to use LastPass with your launcher, um, there's a, it's really easy. I've always got a browser set up on my second monitor. So I'm, I've got email and everything going there all the time while I'm playing also. But here you can even do it on a single monitor. You don't even have to be on the page. What you're going to want to do is hit the LastPass button, go into Sites, and here's my SWOTOR deal. All I want to do is right mouse click on that. And for this, I'm going to first say Copy Username. Once I grab the username, I go ahead and click over here in the username or email address and I control V to paste that in. I then come back over here and do the same thing. Go to sites, go to SWOTOR, copy password, and then I paste the password in. There I'm ready to log in and ready to go. That's all you need to do. That simple.